Welcome back to Jonesy Cast. I'm Jonesy, and this is the cast. Um, <clears throat> essentially, what I do is read Reddit posts like relationship advice and um, respond on the fly just with my experience and hopefully knowledge and wisdom. Um, if you like it, like and subscribe. If you don't, uh, don't. All right. <clears throat> so we've got one here from throw ra one two four one two three one. Super creative, bros. <laughs> now nah, I'm digging it. Hey, check it out. I'm 21 male, dug myself a pretty deep hole, told my girlfriend, 19 female, I loved her when we were both drunk, said that we were drunk in the morning and made a joke about what we said and she got really upset, as she should be. What can I do to make my apology sound sincere? So for anyone <clears throat> watching this video that wants the full context of the post, I'm going to put the link in the description. I'm just going to go through this and, and comment on it. All right. My girlfriend of 18 months came over to my place yesterday and we were just hanging out watching a movie and some drinks. We both finished exams, so we just drank quite a bit. We were fooling around and afterwards, as we were talking, I blurted out that I loved her. It's like, bro, we've all done it. We've all done it. I'm 33. <laughs> bro, me and every dude I know has done it, okay? So I know that like right now, you're feeling hot under the collar. Because you're like, oh my fucking God, what have I done? But just just keep this in mind, bro. You're 21, okay? You're 21. No matter what happens here, you will be okay. All right? So just keep that in mind and we'll go forward. As soon as I said it, I just muttered, oh shit. Oh, you've done it now, son. That's hilarious. I mean, I, I don't mean to laugh at you, but you know, I've been here, Okay. <clears throat> because it just came out of nowhere and I was extremely embarrassed. We both were still pretty drunk and maybe after a minute she responded back and said, I think I love you too. I kind of laughed it off and said we were drunk and went to bed. The next morning she said she couldn't believe I said I loved her. I laughed and I said I was pretty drunk and couldn't believe I said it either. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong thing to say, man. That was the wrong thing to say. But it's still okay, okay? Like I've got your back. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry I'm laughing. It's just, I feel for you, dude. I wish I could give you a hug right now, man, for real. This is just, okay. <clears throat> she paused a bit and then asked me if I meant it. I wasn't sure if she was asking because she didn't want me to be serious or if she was asking me because she had said she loved me back and was afraid that I didn't actually mean it. Okay, I'm going to read that again just for clarity. She paused a bit and then asked me if I meant it. I wasn't sure if she was asking because she didn't want me to be serious. That's why. Or if she was asking because she had said she loved me back and was afraid I didn't actually mean it. That's also why. Okay. I just shrugged and asked her if she actually meant it. She got pretty hurt because she said she was serious when she said it right after she confirmed that she, what she meant. Right after she confirmed what she meant, I told her that I did mean it, but she took it as me just saying it to make it less awkward. Well, that's what you did. Let's be let's be honest with each other right here, okay? Let's not mince fucking feelings, okay? And again, I'm not blaming you. Um, <clears throat> she left in a pretty big hurry and wouldn't even answer me as I tried stopping her. She hasn't been responding to my calls or texts and I have absolutely no idea what to do from here. I do love her and I sincerely do want to apologize to her. What can I do? Okay. Woo! Woo! You're in the fire, son, but it's, it's okay. This, this will be okay. Okay, so here's what you do. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what to do and then I'm going to explain it, okay? Get in front of her, okay? Rule number one, texts, emails, Facebook, Instagram, all that shit is for communication, not conversation. Remember that, remember that. Put that in your brain and never ever forget it. There are too many mistakes that relation in relationships as a consequence of the fact that people use these tools for conversation when they should be using them to set up conversation, okay? You need to get in front of her. And then what you need to do is tell her the truth. But before you do that, I want you to do number one, write down what you want in a relationship, what you want, what you don't want, the man you want to be, the woman you want to have, the man you don't want to be, the woman you don't want to have, okay? Write all that down. And I mean it, write it down, write it down, write it down. And I say that because otherwise all those things that you you feel will get lost in the ether of your thoughts. You will forget them, okay? And then you'll remember them, but it's too late, okay? 
<clears throat> so one of the biggest mistakes that people make, especially young men, especially young men, one of the biggest mistakes they make is that they go into a conversation with a girl not having done the homework because she's already done the homework. She already knows what she wants or at least thinks she knows what she wants, but that's good enough in most circumstances, right? But a young man goes in there and then he gets asked a question and he doesn't know the answer because he's never thought about it, okay? Here's what I want you to think about. And I really do want you to think about this. Do you love her? And I don't mean do you feel for her. Love is a verb. It's not a feeling, okay? Do you actively love her? Do you help her? Do you listen to her? Do you care about the things she cares about? Not because you care about them, but because she cares about them. Do you know and love her family? Do you love her despite and because of, in some circumstances, her flaws and her misgivings and her faults? Okay, do you accept them all? Are you willing to die for her? You're going to say yes to that because every young man says yes to that. Here's the question. Are you willing to live for her? That is the function of a man. Okay. Now, some people are going to say, blah, 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 whatever. The function of a man is to help himself, his family, his community. That's it. I don't know what the function of a woman is because I'm not a woman. And I gave up years ago telling women what to do and how to be. But I'll tell you this much. Your function as a young man is to better yourself so that you can better your family, so that you can better your community, okay? It's all these concentric circles that work together, right? Now, the way to do that is to be honest with yourself, be honest with your family, be honest with your community, okay? But to do that, you've got to know what you want. <clears throat> so um, what's happened here is that she was serious, okay? Now, what I said before about young men getting themselves in trouble um, you need to decide what you want because otherwise it will be decided for you, right? So before you have this conversation with her, decide what you want. Decide that you love her or that you don't. But if you do, go there and say that, okay? Um, because if you've got the evidence to back it up, then that's, you know, that's that's an arrow in your quiver that you can show her and just look, babe, I love you. I love you. Because look, now that you've said it, now that you've opened the door, because I understand what you mean, man, because even your comment down below <clears throat> in response to um, I hate pants, um, <laughs> which, you know, it's kind of a cool comment. You haven't told your girlfriend of more than a year that you love her before. <laughs> yeah, that's home girl or boy's got a point. Um, I don't know about other people, but personally, I told I hold the words I love you to a pretty high standard. I have never said this to any other girl in any of my previous relationships. So saying what I said now was a pretty big deal for me. Okay, here's the question. Do you love her? And this is just between you and me. And you can't tell me. you got to tell you. Okay, do you love her? If the answer is yes, then you act accordingly. And you are all in. All in. No doubts, no misgivings. You are all in, okay? Now, when I say no doubts and no misgivings, I have doubts and misgivings, but then they are they are allayed by two things. Number one, the fact that I also remember why I love my girlfriend and why I'm still with her and why I continue to be with her because she is an amazing woman, right? And the second thing is the fact that I already know that doubts and misgivings are coming, okay? <clears throat> and I've made a promise. And once you make a promise, you don't go back. I do not make promises I cannot keep. If you want a promise out of me that I don't think I can keep, I'm just not going to give it to you. You can get as angry as you want. Promise me X. No. Meh, meh, meh. I don't give a shit. I can't promise that. I do not know if I can keep that promise, so I'm not going to make that promise. But now you've said something like I love you. The question is, do you mean it? Because if you don't, you've got to break up with her. But if you do you got to really go back and just sit in front of her and say, look, I am sorry. And say it like this. I am sorry. I was a fool and I fucked up. I was nervous. I've never said that to another girl. And so I said it because I feel it. But then the fear came over me again. But now that I'm sober and I know that, that, that it was the right thing to say, I'll fully back it to the moon. Right? And then you shut the fuck up. Then you shut the fuck up. You've said what you needed to say, okay? A lot of guys make the mistake that they just talk, 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 talk. And women are very good at listening and picking us apart, okay? So what you want to do is you want to say what you mean, say what you got to say, and then you want to shut the fuck up. And you want to let her ask you questions. And you want 
you want to have a conversation with her, right? Um, that's what I would do. That's what I would honestly do. Have have a conversation with her in which you just say, "Look, I'm sorry. I I fucked up. I made a mistake. Um, but I mean it. I mean it. And I want to stay with you. I want to be with you. I want to have success with you. I want to have. I want to suffer with you. Because look, man, your life is you are going to suffer yourself. And she's going to suffer herself. So. I say to my girlfriend all the time, look, I would rather suffer with you than without you. I would rather live with you than without you. You know, and be, and don't don't get into all this romantic jargon that you've seen on Hugh Grant movies and this nonsense from the 90s and early 2000s. Um just say what you mean and then shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, that will get you very far in life, my friend. Okay? Um but Go back to what I initially said. Number one, write down what you want in a relationship, not in this relationship, but in any relationship. And then you can apply it to this relationship, okay? What you want, what you don't want, who the man you want to be and the woman you want to have, okay? Um, then go have a conversation with her, with that those those bullets in that magazine, or sorry, the, the pages in the book, the ammunition, um, for the conversation and then when you have the conversation say exactly what you mean say it simply don't don't use highfalutin romantic language and then just go silent and wait for her response and then you will see uh what happens now <clears throat> you did fuck up but i don't blame you i really don't blame you man this is the first time it's ever happened you're 21 years old you don't know anything <laughs> like i didn't know anything at 21 bro i didn't know anything right so, um, and it could be argued that I'm still in that state, but I, I know a little bit more. So look, that's what I've got for you. Um, I don't blame you too bad. You know, many men have made many worse mistakes and they've come back from it. So you just need, you need to give this girl some time, then send her a text and say, look, I want to have a conversation with you in person um, or somehow get in front of her and then just say those words Act like you mean it and mean it. I hope this video helps, man. I really do. Because this is a bit of a cooked potato situation, but it's better than most. Good luck.